All right, everyone. Welcome back. This is for free. Uh, we are putting rear shocks on a '97 Jeep Grand Cherokee today. Uh, these are the old shocks that just came off. Uh, these are part. These are Monroe part number five eight six one nine. These cannot be gotten anymore. They are discontinued. I called Monroe myself, tried to get uh, cross numbers and seen anything else that fits. Um, I could not come up with anything, so I did did some research and some digging around online. And I actually moved up to a new set. These are for a 99 to 04 Jeep Grand Cherokee. They are load adjusting springs. Um, Monroe part number 58647, I believe it is. I will look, put that in the description. I'll put a link in the description. Um, the only thing, I did have to do a few adjustments here. One of the biggest things here is actually to get this sleeve. And I had to press that out. As you can see, the old one does not have a sleeve. It didn't even actually come with any shims or washers. It was just, you know, put it on and that was it. Uh, this one for the top post did come with a sleeve. What I had to do was press that out. And then I had to drill. I guess I used a half inch drill or something, maybe a little bit longer. But I had to wallow that hole out a little bit. Uh, I put some oil on there. And basically just kind of slid it, maneuvered it, wiggle jiggled onto the um, top post, uh, top mounting post where the shock goes. Uh, the only other difference I see in these shocks, the length is identical. Um, the only thing I see a little different in these shocks is the base here. Uh, this is a little bit taller than this. Um, I don't know if that's going to affect it much. That and the width of the spring appears to be a, a millimeter or two thicker than the shock that I just took off. By and large, they look the same. I just mounted one onto my vehicle. Um, it is late at night. I'm gonna go right now to grab a uh, video of that and you all can see what I did. All right, here we go. Here's the top mounting bracket. Um, that, that what you see down at the end of the threads is just oil and, and grease and particles of rubber. But there you go. A uh, real simple shock to put on. I'm sorry this is at night. I just finished them up. I was hoping to get this done a little sooner. That didn't quite happen. Uh, the top post went on pretty easily. I would suggest giving these a little, there we go, a little jiggle. Make sure that they are, you know, sort of in place and proper. Uh, all you have to do is, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but you just come over here. You can use the, your own car jack that comes with the Jeep. I just put it up on a cement block, some 2x6s, hooked it to the ball, and all I had to do was just lift the vehicle up enough to get the wheels barely touching the ground. And as you can see, the bottom bolt, I did put a little bit of oil on them just, just for the ease of the ability to slide on. The bottom went on absolutely fine. You will not have to do to the bottom what you did to the top. Uh, again, these are, this is a 58619 to 58647. Uh, load adjusting shock conversion for your 97 Jeep Grand Cherokee. You will have to get these for the 99 to 2004 version of the Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is for free out. Have a good night.